All right, video number five, j Pouch surgery, uh, eight month update. Everything's going pretty sweet right now. I've had two little mishaps where I've been admitted to the hospital. Um, not really big issues, just blockages and stuff, me mucking around with medication. Um, and what they say is true uh, in my, my case about uh, the small intestine learning to do what the large one used to do. Um, I've had a change in meds. I used to take eight codeine, uh, sorry, eight gastro stop and 30 milligrams of codeine. Now I'm down to seven milligrams of codeine and three gastro stop a day because my intestines kind of learning to do what the large uh, bowel used to do. Um, what else? Yeah, so weight, I haven't really put on too much weight, but it's slowly coming on. I'm up to 70 kilos now. Uh, when I left the hospital after the th second surgery, my takedown, I was 64, 65. So I've put on a little bit of weight, but that'll come in time. Uh, what else? Yeah, I've been getting some good emails from people from um, all over the world that either have a J pouch or want a J pouch. Um, a few of them are in surgery now as we speak, and. I hope they're doing well and I can't wait to get your emails and see how you're going. Um, but yeah, shoot me an email and we can talk about anything. If you want a J pouch, if you've got a J pouch, um, it doesn't matter what kind of question it is, I'll email back within one or two days. I'm pretty good with it, my emails. Um, what else? Yeah. So it's summer now in Australia and it's real hot. So one of the main reasons um, you have to drink a lot of water is because the small intestine doesn't suck up the much, as much fluid as the large one used to. Uh, now that we don't have the large intestine, we need to drink more water and electrolytes. So pretty much every day I have two Gatorades and like two or three litres of water. Otherwise I wake up the next morning with a headache. Um, it's no big deal, you just pee a little bit more than usual. But um, yeah, everything's still going steady, pretty good. Um, I've been I bought a boat been going out boating been surfing still been going to the gym been working couldn't do all that before I had the surgery Pardon me um, Yeah food I can eat mini pretty much anything I can eat fruits I can eat uh, Vegetables I can eat Takeout you just got to do everything in moderation um, Yeah with me if I have too many carbs everything gets too solid and I'm kind of like a normal person again I only go to the bathroom once or twice a day so I've got to add in veggies and got to add in fruits and stuff like that so that I'd bump it up to like maybe four or five uh, bathroom breaks a day which is better for my intestines and better for the J pouch because um, the longer that um, food and whatnot's in your J pouch the more chance you've got of getting pouchitis or bacteria infections and stuff like that so yeah but um, I'm overall stoked with the J pouch. Um, I can still pass gas, I can drink alcohol. Um, yeah, got heaps of energy, more energy than when I had ulcerative colitis. And yeah, it's, everything's going great. So now I just wanna help everyone else out that's getting the J pouch surgery or having a, having a rough time debating whether they want it or whether they don't or regretting if they've got it email me and we can kind of talk it out and see if we can resolve something or open open your eyes to whether you want the surgery or whether you don't want the surgery but um yeah that's pretty much it short video eight month update 70 kilos feeling good